Hello and welcome to the installation video of WIT-415KHU Hybrid Inverter. The WIT-415KHU Energy Storage System consists of WIT Hybrid Inverter and Low Voltage Battery Modules. The system also supports direct connection of 3CT, making the installation more concise. First, the installation method of the inverter is well-mounted. Please select an appropriate installation environment according to the requirements diagram. Ensure there is sufficient installation distance. And install a protective cover to protect the device. Before the installation, please prepare the following tools. Now you can move the inverter packages to the installation site and unpack it. Please inspect the product and accessories to make sure all the things are complete. Mark the holes on the wall using a wall bracket. Punch holes in the wall according to the location of the marked holes and plug in the expansion bolts. Then secure the wall bracket to the wall with screws. It takes two people to move the inverter out of its packaging and lift it to its mounting position. Then hang the inverter on the wall bracket and fix it properly to ensure that the inverter remains balanced. Check whether the inverter is firmly fixed and tighten all the screws. Now we can start with the wiring process. Please prepare the appropriate cable according to the form before electrical wirings. Connect the ground cable before the inverter connected to other connections to protect the safety of the installer and the inverter. Use an Allen key to open the junction box cover of the inverter. Connect the AC side ground cable. Strip the cable insulation to an appropriate length, crimp the cable and terminal with crimp and pliers. Unscrew the PG head, pass all the cables through it. And then connect the cable to the corresponding terminal and tighten the screws to fix the cable. After connecting the cables, Tighten the PG head to ensure reliable protection. Strip the cable insulation to an appropriate length. Crimp the cable and terminal with the crimping pliers. Connect the positive and negative terminals of the PV module to the corresponding terminals of the inverter. Regarding the battery wiring, we would take the ASE battery as an example for introduction. Connect the battery ground cable to the inverter housing. Unscrew the PG head to remove the rubber plugs, and then pass the battery power cables through the PG head. Connect the crimp terminals of the battery cable to the corresponding battery input and lock them with the MA screws. If there are two clusters of batteries, they can be directly connected to the two battery access ports on the inverter. Unscrew the PG head to remove the rubber plugs and then pass the communication cables through the PG head. Connect the battery communication cable to the corresponding ports. The following figure is the description of the communication port. Pass the three CT cables through the PG head and plug it to the corresponding terminal holes of the inverter. 
Please note that the direction of CT is from the power grid to the inverter. Finally, close the junction box cover and lock the bolts with the Allen key. Remove the waterproof cover from the USB port. Then plug in and secure the Shine White Line X2 data logger. After completing the installation, now we come to the commissioning process. Scan the QR code above to download the Shine Phone app. Or you can search for Shine Phone in the Apple Store or Google Play to download and install the app. Log in account and add plan. Scan the QR code to add the data logger. In this video, we choose Wi-Fi as an example. Configure the network. Select Wi-Fi account and enter password. After waiting for a successful connection to the server, the network configuration is completed.